again. Yes. <laughs> The only disappointing thing about opening this is then we can't shake the whole box anymore. And it's very satisfying to shake the whole box. <laughs> it is very <laughs> satisfying to shake the whole box. Extremely. All right, let me get you some scissors. There you go. Apparently this box didn't roll all ones. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see, I guess. So we ordered these supplies about a month ago. Like I looked, there's a, there's a, a date on the side of the box. And it's from like the middle of June. Dude, um, what the so I, ordered, I ordered this with a sufficient amount of time to get these on time and then we had giant piles of ridiculousness with the shipping um <laughs> i won't go into the whole thing because it's very frustrating but it is finally here nearly a month later only a month it only took a month i mean we would have had it a few days after i placed the or look it's the original box Oh, they weren't kidding. It did get all messed up. Look at that. Oh, Jesus. Oh, sheesh. All right, hold on. Receiver did not want refuse delivery. My ass. My ass. Oh! All right. Yes. Look at all of them. They're so pretty. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh, none of these bags are sealed. They're just open. Oh, no. <laughs> Be careful. There we go. Yes. They're so pretty. Oh, 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 that one's got a friend in there. Come here. It's got a few friends in there. Oh, no, they're mixed up. Get back in there. Oh. <laughs> Finally. This is the most amount of dice I've ever ordered in my entire life. So many dice. All right, well, shall we go make soap then? Yes. Yes. yes yeah. Let's go. Welcome to Cat and Raven Designs. I'm a goblin. Accurate. And I'm Raven, but not the Raven Queen. Sorry. <laughs> Someday. Goals. Welcome, our friends. Our friends, my friends. Welcome, people to our D&D themed month. So this entire month is going to be inspired by all things D&D. &D. You may have seen in the intro our big box of dice that finally got here, but was extremely delayed in arriving due to a variety of shipping issues, which were out of our control. So this month's launch is delayed. So it looks like we no longer have a July launch. We now have a very early August launch. <laughs> So all the soaps in this collection are going to be available at the beginning of August, the first Friday of August, which is the 6th, at our normal 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. So not the last Friday of July, first Friday of August. Keep that in mind. We're going to have less videos than we normally do. One of the soaps is one we've made before, so we're not going to bother filming it. And we only have so many weeks left in July to put videos out. I should also note that we are really upping production for this launch. Uh, I know last launch, they some of those soaps sold out pretty quickly. So in an effort to make sure everybody gets the one that they want, we are doubling production again. Yeah. <laughs> so this one is going to be called Forest Guardian, and this is one of my designs. So the fragrance we're going to be using is Moon Lake Musk from Candle Science. So I'm going to start off by getting our lye water into our batch of oils. A quick preliminary swirl here with the spatula. I feel so bad in terms of our filming schedule because we missed a video. We almost never miss a video. It's been a long time since we haven't been able to post. Yeah, well, that was because, you know, level of ups that occurred with the, the, the box. Yeah. The one supply we needed for all the soap. And I, I feel bad because we kept thinking, okay, this is the day. It's going to be here and we're going to be able to get started. And so I did things like make soap but I didn't film them because I was like, oh, there's no point where filming schedule's already all full up, posting schedule's full up, uh, but uh, <laughs> didn't work out. So I posted a lot on Instagram instead. But there was all that like, oh, this is the day it's supposed to get here. No, your package has been delayed. Okay, whatever. Oh, no, we don't deliver to PO boxes. Well, okay, reroute it. Okay, reroute successful. <laughs> Lies. <laughs> oh, you guys denied it at four in the morning. No, the f we didn't. All right, real quick, our colors. 
First one we have is Alpine Green from Nurture Soap. Next up is Chromium Oxide Green from TKB Trading. And I have Chromium Oxide Green with a little bit of uh, Black Iron Oxide to darken it up a little bit. And our final one is going to be Dark Brown Oxide, also from TKB. And I already have our fragrance all mixed in. So we can go ahead and just get started. Let's get it started in here. Let's get it started. <laughs> what? I just do your feelings about that song. <laughs> this time I was smart and didn't try to do a slab with only three colors so that I overfill my buckets and spill. Finally, Raven gets the smarts occasionally. Ah. Meow. Cat hasn't been on camera in a while. <laughs> We've been um, streaming a lot more while we couldn't film making soap. So that's been fun. Good plan. Borderlands too. I mean, in some ways it was kind of nice to get to take a break because I hadn't been feeling well. Um, I know we don't talk about it a lot here on the channel, but I have fibromyalgia, which I think a lot of people would consider sort of an invisible illness. Same with my bursitis. Yeah. You know, chronic pain that I have no control over that like pain medications, they do nothing. <laughs> not dang and occasionally i have flare-ups sometimes they're worse than others and this most recent one was pretty bad still not feeling amazing but well enough to get things done so it was kind of nice to be able to take some time off and rest because the thing with fibro is that <sighs> okay so like pain really it's it's not real right like it's a response that your brain has to stimulus from your nerves. Yeah. And fibromyalgia means that your nerves are sending pain responses to your body with no real reason for it. Um, and I'm sorry, I'm sure there's a better explanation for that, but that's the best understanding I've been able to have of it. So you're in pain. There's no, no nothing that's actually causing it. So like painkillers don't help because there's nothing, there's nothing to help. Like there's no inflammation, there's no damage, there's nothing like that. Being in pain makes you tired. So then you're just tired for no no actual like physical reason. Well, I mean, it is because like your body is telling your brain that something's wrong, but there's not actually anything wrong. And so you're just exhausted all the time. <laughs> just so tired. And most of the time I'm pretty normal and I'm able to just live my life, but during a flare up, oof, no thank you. I'm not doing good. I mean, it's, it's why I'm a complaining fish when the seasons change, because that's when my hips are at their worst. So if you ever hear me posting anywhere about having a flare up, I'm fine. There's not really anything else I can do. I just have to work my way through it. That's all. Okay, so now I gotta decide, do I wanna do, cause I'm gonna do an in the pot. Do I want to do just the greens and do the brown as the base? Or do I want to put brown in with the swirl? Brown is the base. Okay, brown is the base. All right, well, let's go ahead and get this in the pot here. Here's our nice dark green. I feel like that'll give it more of a foresty vibe. Yeah. You know, brown is the base and then the green, the foliage. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, the, the lighter green looks almost neon right now compared to the darker. Oh, that's looking lovely. Oh, I'm really liking these colors. Yes. How pretty is that so far? That is gorgeous. I'm really liking it. Yes. Okay, so let's pour our brown. Ooh, she getting thick already. <laughs> it looks like chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> it kind of does. So now I'm going to do a little bit of a mica line. And this is a combo of shamrock gold and gold dust. To kind of give that, it, that like shimmery magical forest feel. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, <laughs> that's really pretty. Aren't you glad I suggested adding the uh, gold to the, the shamrock? Yes. There we go. I'm gonna do another 
layer of the mica. So we've done something similar before when we did Hades and Persephone and Dionysus. Yeah. I always think it just looks so nice. So you're going to try to break this mica line? Yeah. If it helps, I, I've noticed it needs to be nice and thick for the break to work and look cool. I make one more suggestion. What's up? Maybe a little spritz of uh, sparkle me gold on top. That way it's because the sparkle me gold's the more subtle out of the two golds. Yeah. Well, here's what I'm thinking. What if I take the sparkle me gold and then I feather swirl? Ooh. Yeah. So this is sparkle me gold. I'm going to go hit it with a little hard because if I'm going to swirl it, I still want to see it. <laughs> I like it. So going on top of this loaf is going to be some fresh D20s. Uh, this style is called Recon. We did order them straight from Chessex, not sponsored. Uh, we we being random with the numbers today. Are um, we? Yes, let's be random with numbers. Okay. Because like you never know what it's going to land on when you roll. That's true. Good point. Quick spritz with rubbing alcohol. Bam! We are done with Forest Guardian. Woohoo! Okay, so here we are with the close up on Forest Guardian, which, oh my gosh, those colors! I love them. So, we're gonna let these sit for the usual uh, roughly 24 hours, and then we will be back tomorrow to split them into loaves, get some bars out of those loaves, and we'll call it good. So, we'll see you then. Bye! <laughs> friends we are back and if I'm gonna be perfectly honest remember how I said that uh, we we're gonna be upping production well we made two of these and I don't know if this is the one we made earlier or not <laughs> but they're 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 basically the same it's fine right. it's fine it's fine it's fine all right let's get this split down into loaves Dwayne. Look at how pretty it is. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my god. What? <laughs> I love it. Ah, I'm so excited. Oh, I can't wait to cut this all the way. Oh, it's gonna be so pretty. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, oh the swirls though. The swirls. smells so like it's like musky but like a light musk like oh yeah it is very much giving me forest vibes yeah i'm i'm glad we went with like the brown on the bottom to kind of be like the forest floor yeah this is oh and by the way that is the one we poured on camera is it yeah oh yeah <laughs> there we go and then the top is giving me like foliage it's so pretty and not like daytime foliage, 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 not like daytime, like that, like it's just starting to get a little bit dark. Yeah. Like the beginnings but of like dust. like the winter. Yes. When it's not like super yellowy. Oh, <laughs> I'm so excited. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. It's like super on top of a couple of them. Oh no. <laughs> Just go, just go. Ah. <laughs> Probably kind of like glue them back yeah, in. Yeah, just sort of, just sort of nudge it back in there. It's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. You have a mountain pour. All right, ready for the reveal? Yes. Here we go. Ooh, she pretty. Ooh. Yeah, the the Michael line didn't show up so good up here, but it is nice down here. That's why I was mentioning like. For, for the effect that you were going for, you needed a thicker mica line. Well, mica lines can be so hard to do right. 
Cause yeah. If you go too thick, they separate. Well, because you were going for kind of that broken mica line, if I remember correctly. Yeah, a little bit. Which, to do the broken mica lines, you, you, ha- you have to do it thicker. Yeah. Ooh, we really... <laughs> we really need to figure out some sort of, like, jig situation for placing embeds on the slab. Oh, that was the other thing we were going to do today that we forgot. I, I, we just didn't have time. That, too. Just too busy. Hang in there, Vanya. Yes. Ooh. I like it. Does it look like camo like you feared it would? No, it doesn't. I'm very much getting forest off of this and not camo. <laughs> Thank goodness. Oh man, y'all, some of these bars. Oh no. Uh, it's okay, it's fine. Well, I know we didn't talk about D D a whole lot while we were making these. Yeah. I think having not filmed for so long, we were sort of out of practice. Yeah. <laughs> I think we were out of practice, you know, waiting for the dice that's a whole story i okay so maybe i'll just tell that story that's a good story (laughs) all right so the reason why these entire collection is so late is that we ordered these dice right like we we got a business account with chessex i ordered these ages ago and it's not it might be a little bit chessex fault sorry chessex (laughs) i didn't know what carrier they were going to be using for the shipment so i gave them our P.O. box, because I figured, hey, that way it shows up. I don't have to worry about it. somebody signing for it, even though someone's always here. But just, I'll send it to the P.O. box. It's all good. And apparently they sent it UPS. And I didn't get the notification from UPS for the tracking number until it was nearly the day it was supposed to arrive. And I hadn't checked my email and the whole thing. So that part of that was my fault. Um, but UPS doesn't ship to P.O. boxes. So... <laughs> Apparently, our package made it all the way to Sacramento before UPS was like, oh, wait, uh, no, we don't ship to P.O. boxes. Before it got to Sacramento, no, it was after. Was it after? Yeah, it was after we got the notification that um, we ha- had rejected it or something. No, no, it wasn't at that point yet. So what? So it gets to Sacramento, right? And I realized... Oh, it was, we got to do not... It could not be delivered. I don't even know if it was that yet. Um but I realized that it was being sent to the P.O. box with UPS, so it wasn't going to work. So I contacted Chessex, and I was like, bro, uh, oh, oops. Did we just break a thing? Yeah, just broke a string. Oopsies. Uh, Great place (laughs) string again? Yep. Wee. Beauty. I contact Chessex, and I'm like, hey, um, UPS doesn't deliver to P.O. boxes. Can you reroute the package because I had tried to contact UPS and get it rerouted, but because I was the, the receivee the and not recipient. The, the recipient and not the sender, I couldn't change the address that it was going to. Um, so Chessex was like, Oh my God. Yeah, absolutely. We'll get it taken care of. Uh, what address do you want us to send it to? Did the whole thing. Um, Broke two more. Mm. I'm sorry, Vanya. Chessex is like, oh yeah, absolutely, for sure. We will submit the address change. We'll, no problem. We got you, boo. We got you, babe. It's all good. They submit the address change. UPS accepts the address change. So we're like, cool. And the the shipping updates to say that it's on its way with an expected delivery of like Thursday. And we're like, cool, sweet. Thursday. We can work with that. And... Thursday comes and goes, no package. So I open up the tracker and it says that it was delivered. And I'm going, no, lies, twas not. No, no, that one, it didn't say, oh, did it say? Yeah, it said delivered. And I was like, what the heck? And then I look at the state that it was delivered in and it went back to Chessex. It's been a horror show. Um, I'm going to fix Vanya while we talk here. Because that was when they said we rejected it at four in the morning. Right. Yeah. So they said we rejected it. You're right. Sorry. I got confused. So they said that we rejected the package at like four in the morning on Thursday. And I was like, you guys don't even deliver to residential addresses at four in the morning. What are you talking about? And it ends up going back to Chessex. And that's when we got the, oh, your package has been delivered. And we're like, 
the fuck? It was this whole thing. There was, like, no way for me to contact UPS and try and find out, like, no, I, I didn't reject it. What are you talking about? How could I have rejected it at four in the morning? And we had tried again to get it sent back to us, and that's when it ended up going back to Chessex, but we didn't know it was going back to Chessex. <laughs> and I'm contacting Chessex, and I'm like, I don't know what's going on. It ends up getting delivered back to Chessex, and they let me know, like, hey, we just got it. The box looks like it's in bad shape. So if you saw the clip at the beginning, that's why it was in two boxes. It's a box within a box, because that was like the original box on the inside. Chessex is like, oh my gosh, yeah, we'll go ahead and we'll resend it. And I'm going, I mean, do you need me to pay for it? And they're like, no, it's fine. We'll just go ahead and resend it. I'm like, yeah, can you send it to the house this time instead of the PO box? You know, just to confirm that address. And they're like, absolutely. And this point, it's been like two weeks. Oh, yeah. Just back and forth trying to get this stupid package. So they send it out again. UPS says it's going to be like another week to get it. The day it's supposed to arrive finally comes. And we are ready and waiting. <laughs> it's the middle of a Panda Express. They're, everybody's home. You know, there's no way that anybody's missing this package. Somebody's always here. I'm working because it's a Saturday. I got doing my nine to five. And my shift ends at 1230. And at 1232, I get a message, a text message from UPS saying that they attempted delivery and no one was home. So they left a card. I'm like, what do you mean? <laughs> These people were home. What? No, you didn't. There's so, no card on the door. What the? Yeah, there was no card on the door. There was nothing. So <laughs> I, again, cannot contact UPS. There is no spot for me to give any kind of detailed instructions because sometimes, admittedly, people doing deliveries get very confused by the complex that we live in, by the, the general neighborhood and area. They get super confused all the time. This has been sort of story of my life the entire time I've lived here. Same, when, even when I was living across the street. So I can't, I can't like add detailed delivery instructions. There's just not a spot for it. So I'm having to just sit there and hope that they will come back. I can't get through to their customer service because I was super busy and I didn't have time to be on the phone forever with customer service and it was just this whole thing. And I, I get further and further frustrated and I'm starting to believe that if they try to come back, cause they said they're gonna try and deliver it again the next business day, which would have been a Monday, that I don't believe they will actually <laughs> attempt to re-deliver it. <laughs> I don't, I've, I've lost trust. My faith is gone. I don't think they're actually gonna try and deliver it. I have to go online to their website and request a change in delivery because now that they have done a quote-unquote official attempt to try and deliver it and quote-unquote left a card I can finally request that it be shipped someplace else and I don't trust them so I decide okay fine I will pay the six dollars to have it instead shipped to the local UPS store instead of to the house because now no trust, no faith. I don't think you're actually going to try and deliver it. But, you know, it's going to be a lot harder to not deliver it to the UPS store. Monday rolls around and nothing changes on the delivery. It just says come back later for updates. And then finally, the next morning, Tuesday morning, it says expected delivery the previous Monday. I'm like, cool. <laughs> Just super cool, super cool, super cool. I love that. And it does, luckily, eventually update on Tuesday and say that it is available for pickup at the local UPS store. So I'm finally able to go down there and go get it. After nearly a month of back and forth of trying to get this stupid order. Just, oh, what a mess. And like Chessex Cup customer service was awesome yeah they were super sweet ups's customer service non-existent and that's not me trying like look i work in a call center for my nine to five so like i understand the way that that works i'm always kind and nice but i couldn't even talk to a person like they wouldn't let me i tried i'm kind and nice to a point but there is also a point in which i'm like you know what supervisor now I understand their limitations to how much a supervisor can actually do. 
Yeah. And, like, I have to play it by ear, obviously, in terms of, like, the issue that's going on. But there's also a limit to my patience, even with customer service. Yeah. Type related issues. Because, like, I've worked customer service. I know how stressful it can be. I know how unpleasant it can be. Yeah. And I 100% get, like, I've worked in a call center for about a decade now between this current job and my previous one. I've had a lot of time in call centers. I get it. I get the unique challenges of trying to provide customer service to somebody over the phone. But when your customer service is non-existent. When you can't even get to a customer service. And I tried. And then it was like, there's going to be like a 45 minute wait to talk to a person. And I'm like. Meaning they need to hire more. It's hard to keep people in a call center job, though. The turnover is really high. Because it, oh, it yeah. sucks. Like, the next time you talk to somebody in a call center, do your best to be nice, please. I usually am. I usually am. I think I've only gotten unpleasant with a call center person once. And that was because I had signed up for a subscription for something. And I had signed up for it to come out monthly. Like, the monthly amount instead of, like... Because it gave me the like option of... Annually or something? Huh? Like, versus annually or something? Yeah. Because I had the money in my account to be able to do, like, you know, pay it month by month. But I did not have, like, a hundred and something dollars in my account to be paying for the full year up front. Right. And when I signed up for it, it was... It flat out said, do you want to pay monthly or annually? And I was very careful in making sure I selected monthly. Mm -hmm. And so they, you know, took the monthly amount out. And I was like, okay, cool, fine, whatever. And then the next day, the annual amount came out. Great. And I lost my ever-loving mind. I was calm with the representative at first. And then the representative was sitting there being like, Oh, I can't do anything about that. Like, you should have made sure you picked the right option. Mm. Oh. Bitch. Oh. <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> it's done. Oh, yeah. At that point, I uh, got real unpleasant. Was like, I told you what I selected. Like, for you to sit here and blame me for your company's F up. Not cool. I would like to speak to your supervisor. Yeah, I have always made a habit. I do not blame the customer, <laughs> you know, because even if it's your fault, ain't nobody want to hear that. And the thing is, is I wasn't even asking for a refund on the monthly amount. Mm -hmm. I was asking for the refund on the annual amount. You know, the plan you didn't sign up for? Yeah. I was heated. <laughs> I and I was, I was nice and calm and polite up until the point where... Customer service dude tried to blame me. Like, no, I know which one I picked because my broke ass cannot afford a hundred dollars coming out of my account right now. I like how we wanted to talk about D and D, and instead we're talking about like call centers and customer service. <laughs> <Oops>. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> All right, let's wrap it up. All right, so here are the finished Forest Guardian bars. God, I'm in love with them. They look so cool. <laughs> All right, and make sure, as a reminder, to uh, be kind to call center employees. I can almost guarantee they're probably not having a good day. And uh, make sure that you are having a snack, you are having some water, some make actual me. water. Make me. Coffee doesn't count. Tea doesn't count. I'm sorry. I know. Uh, I love coffee. Coffee is bean water. I, yeah, but it doesn't know. It's bean water. It doesn't count. Yes, it does. <laughs> it has water in it. <laughs> So, again, these are going to be available on Friday, August 6th at 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time on our website, catandravendesigns.com. Link is in the bio. And with that, go have a good time. Maybe go, if you, if you have a forest near you, go walk around. Take some pictures. I'm a little jealous. We'll see you later. Bye. Bye.